G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, the other day I saw that the four-wheel drive supercenter were putting out uh, King's 250-watt panels, this panel, for $149 Australian. That's pretty bloody cheap. And anyway, I've got the EcoFlow um, River Pro power brick. It's got a uh, an input for solar, and I thought, geez, one of these would be pretty good. And for the money, I mean, how could you go wrong? And I had a look on the internet, and there was a woman named Norsman had just bought one of these, and she thought it was the bee's knees. She'd had other folding panels, you know, roll-out panels, and they apparently were hopeless. And she got this and just thought it was so good. And she was getting 185 watts out of hers on an average day, so we'll see what this one does. I've, I've got it outside, and it's early in the morning. We'll see how she goes. Okay, here's the River Pro. It's got an input connector XT60 on the end here. And I made up a 20 foot cable to uh, hook, it, hook it into the panel, which comes with uh, Anderson connectors. So this goes XT60 to Anderson. And uh, it's a 20 amp cable, so it should, shouldn't be any losses to speak of. Well, it's half past eight in the morning, and this is the first bit of sunshine. There's a tiny bit of shade on the right hand side of the panel of the Bagola. But anyway, it's a good test. It's a clear blue sky, typical Adelaide summer day, about 20 degrees uh, centigrade. So we'll look at the uh, meter and see what it's putting in the unit. It's putting in 50 watts. So that's not bad going really. The panel's putting out 25.41 volts. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Now that should be consistent right through the day. It's only the wattage that should vary. So, um, yeah, that's perfectly okay. Okay, 75% charged. It's it's nine o'clock and we're getting 143 watts, which is pretty damn good. Okay, it's 20 past nine. The sun's up now. It's about 20 degrees, I suppose. It's going to be a hot day today, 30C they reckon. So anyway, no shading on the panel. Angle's about right. We'll, uh, we'll see what she's dumping out now. 187 watts <laughs> this thing is awesome I mean 187 watts and it's not even half past nine in the morning for 149 dollars AU amazing when you consider that the big brand name panels 200 watt ones are a 400 to 500 dollars this is just shit saver i mean it's amazing all right we'll push on all right another 10 minutes has gone past and it's pumping out 191 watts so that means i could run my fridge freezer which takes 180 watts I can run that without any battery degradation whatsoever on this unit. It will basically, as it's got um, feed through, or pass through, whatever you want to call it, it can basically run the freezer straight off the solar panel. And, you know, basically no discharge on the battery. In fact, the batteries can charge up. It's slightly, slightly more than the little fridge freezer is using. That's got to be the best buy of the century, don't you reckon? I mean, $149 for a panel that will do this. And it's a bloody good, well-made panel. I mean, it's got 
class A cells, supposedly. We're going to have a look at it. It's a very sturdy unit. It's got good quality catches uh, in two places on the end. It's all metal. Everything's metal where it counts. The legs are uh, metal and they've got a cam lock on. Each leg's got a cam lock so that you can actually lock it at whatever angle you want to have it at for your panel. So that's as um, upright as the panel's going to go, which is perfectly okay because it's doing the morning sun no problem. So when we get to the middle of the day where well, you might want to cam it back a bit more but um, yeah and it's got a carry handle on the end as well once again all metal stuff no plastic rubbish here's a look at the other end of it and all of the fittings on the back are heavy duty all the cabling and connectors it doesn't use any sort of hinged type connectors it just basically cable to cable Here's a look at the back and you can see what I mean about the cabling. It's all good, heavy stuff. You can't fold it really. Very, very good unit. Alright, it's 10 to 10. We've got 197 watts. I've got a funny feeling it might be about it. Not to say, I mean, it's, it's quite warm now. But even so, you've got to admit that is a fantastic figure. And that's why if you buy a panel, if they say it's 250 watts, you can count on, say, 200 maximum, because they, they never put out what they say, not from what I've seen anyway. Not unless you pay an absolute fortune, then you might possibly get it. Now, also, this panel just dumps out raw DC. It doesn't have any um, regulation in it or, you know, voltage control so it's perfect for power bricks because they have one built in well mine does anyway and so do the rest that I've seen so if you want to say charge up 12 volt batteries or something like that you're going to have to get a regulator but I mean they're not that expensive anyway it can still work out as a very 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 cheap way of charging stuff right well it's still putting in 197 so that might be the upper limit. If it, if it is, well, that's a fantastic figure, really. It might creep up to 200. If it does, I'll put it in the comments, but it doesn't really matter. It's insignificant. It, it can't go past 200 anyway. Now, the current price on this, I think, is $189. So bumped it up from the 149 that I paid, which was a real bargain. Supposedly, the regular price is 250 which it could well be. Certainly, even at $189, it's a very, very impressive unit. And it's worth considering. Negatives, uh, it's, it's a bit bulky, and it's a bit on the weighty side, it's a bit heavy, but you can't have it both ways. It's well made, it's rugged, and it's a large, big area that will do the job, you know. These smaller ones with puny little you know, um, solar surface area, well, you can only get a puny result, I think. So basically, you get what you pay for here. And yeah, I couldn't be happier. All right, that's it for now. I'll see you next time. Cheers.